Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about Greeback normal form. In our previous class, we discussed about Chomsky normal form. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, uh, let's try to understand what's uh, Greeback normal form. In short, we call it as GNF. Uh, what's the productions? How the production should look like? Uh, and what's the use of it? And how to convert the given grammar into GNF? Uh, coming to the definition, the given CFG context free grammar is said to be in GNF means Greeback normal form if the productions are of the form the production should be of the form A tends to A alpha or A tends to A here small a means a terminal symbol any terminal symbol followed by alpha means maybe any number of non terminals alpha in place of alpha you can have any number of non terminals or A non-terminal tends to single terminal this is of the form if the production is of the form this type then only we say it as a, the given grammar is in a Greeback normal form GNF so what's the use of this see here if you look at the productions A tends to A alpha means the first symbol is terminal symbol after that you are having a sequence of non-terminals so in our previous classes when we discussed about this you can make the decision easy if the first symbol is a terminal symbol the, if from our previous examples we already discussed this concept because after checking the input symbol if the input symbol is a go and call the next non-terminal sir you can decide easily that's why if you convert this into Greeback normal form it's easy to expand the given context free grammar given grammar so how to convert the given grammar into Greeback normal form the first step is this is our CFG given S tends to AB A tends to BS or B B tends to SCRA the first step is convert the given CFG into CNF Chomsky normal form but our grammar is already given in the form of CNF so no need to convert that we are eliminating the first step if the grammar is not in CNF you have to convert that into CNF then convert the sequence of steps to convert the given grammar into Greeback normal form GNF so the second step is give non-terminals a separate naming how many non-terminals are there in our grammar yes a b for each non-terminal you assign a separate naming what's the naming is s is given as a1 a is given as a2 b is given as a3 we have to substitute this new namings in our grammar a1 tends to a2 a3 that is how our grammar looks like so after substitution a1 tends to a2 a3 a2 tends to a3 a1 or b a3 tends to a1 a2 or a if the grammar is not of the form ai tends to aj here i less than or equal to j you should have i less than or equal to j if the grammar is not of the form i less than or equal to j we have to do some action what's that action we will understand let's try to check the grammar which is not following this condition a1 tends to a2 a3 the meaning of this is ai tends to aj i is 1 j is 2 i should be less than or equal to j yes it is following the condition a2 tends to a3 a1 i is 2 j is 3 yes 2 less than or equal to 3 yes it is following the condition now coming to the next one a3 tends to a1 a2 or a i is 3 j is 1 it is not following the condition i less than or equal to j what we have to do we have to convert this production how to convert that production we will try to understand now see in place of a3 tends to a1 a2 substitute a1 substitute a2 and get this production of the form ai tends to aj where i less than or equal to j you have to get this this production into the form which following our condition how to get one uh, get that uh, pro this production in the form of uh, ai tends to aj substitution by using substitution in place of a1 substitute a1 a2 a3 a2 a3 a2 so in place of a1 a2 a3 is substituted so uh, remaining a2 is there or a is there so a3 is uh, a3 tends to a2 a3 a2 in place of a2 substitute a2 productions what is a2 productions a3 a1 or b we have to substitute both the options don't forget that this is the mistake everyone will do so a3 tends to a3 a1 already a3 a2 is there so finally we got this 
one a is there and in place of a2 we have to substitute b a3 also b also b a3 a2 so this is the form which we this is the production which we got a3 tends to a3 a1 a3 a2 or a or b a3 a2 now this production is in the form of left recursion so what's left recursion if the non terminal tends to the first right side in, in the right side produ production uh, in the right hand side of the production if the first symbol is a3 is both are same we call it as left recursive grammar we have to eliminate this left recursion the next step we have to do is uh, we have to eliminate the left recursion after eliminate how to eliminate the left recursion a tends to a3 tends to a3 a1 a3 a2 or a or b a3 a2 this is of the form a tends to a alpha or beta alpha means a1 a3 a2 beta means a or b a3 a2 if it is of the form a tends to a alpha beta we will write it as a a tends to beta a dash in place of a dash we have given the name z3 a beta means a z3 beta means b a3 a2 z3 and z3 tends to alpha a1 a3 a2 a1 a3 a2 z3 or epsilon this is how we convert the given left recursive grammar into not having left recursion so now we have to eliminate the epsilon productions how we eliminate that substitute and write all the possibilities that's why the previous classes all these discussions were done in our previous classes eliminating left recursion eliminating epsilon all those things so please watch our previous classes and come back here if you substitute epsilon and eliminate the epsilon productions epsilon the final we got this a3 tends to a z3 or b a3 a2 z3 or a or b a3 a2 z3 tends to a1 a3 a2 z3 or a1 a3 a2 so look at this grammar a3 tends to a z3 terminal followed by a sequence of non terminals b a3 a2 a z3 terminal followed by a sequence of non terminals single terminal or b a3 a2 terminal followed by sequence of non terminals this is of the form gnf we have converted the production a3 into in the form of gnf so we already got one production into the form of gnf by substitution convert every production in the form of gnf by substitution means a2 is given as in the above a2 is given as a2 tends to b a3 a1 in place of a3 substitute this means in place of a3 you have to substitute a z3 in place of a3 b a3 a2 z3 in place of a3 substitute a in place of a3 substitute b a3 a2 after substituting all the productions a2 tends to b a z3 a1 b a3 a2 a3 z3 a1 or a a1 and so on now a2 is also in the form of gnf now take the next one a1 tends to a2 a3 this is what uh, we have got in our above exam in the above when we substitute the a1 a2 a3 this is what the production we got for a1 a1 tends to a2 a3 so we already got a2 is in the form of gnf substitute this in here in a2 we will get the new production a1 as this is of the form gnf we already got a3 a2 a1 everything in gnf one more thing remaining what's z3 should also be converted into give back normal form because this is also a production in a, in our gnf z3 is given as a1 a3 a2 z3 a1 a3 a2 so in place of a1 we have to substitute all these productions in place of a1 substitute all the productions so we have to do both the pro both the for both the productions we have to substitute a1 we had shown here only for we have substitute this a1 only in this production you please continue with the remaining in this production also substitute a1 for the first place substitute a1 after substituting a1 this all these productions in this here in a1 this is what we got everything is in the gnf this is how we convert the given grammar into gnf greeback normal form hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you